The European Union could face a split due to Brexit as Denmark and Sweden raise concerns over the UK's departure, given that the UK was a major player in the EU before leaving in 2020, Brexit is sure to change the dynamic of the bloc. This will be felt in Sweden and Denmark in particular, given the Scandinavian countries' close alignment with Britain when it comes to European issues. When the EU was negotiating its coronavirus recovery fund, Professor of Political Science Marlene Wynne said the two countries had united having previously relied on the UK. She said, until now we have been hiding behind the Brits and broadly people have seen Denmark as a nice, compliant country to EU law, but now the truth comes out, Social Democratic MEP Crystal Schaldemos told Doctor in January last year, as the UK officially left the EU, that Brexit is sad for the country. She said, it will be sad. We are losing a very, very central ally in a large number of areas, whom we have been able to shelter behind a little. For example, with regard to making the EU more efficient and a little less federal than some of the other countries would like. That is something we'll really notice. Another MEP, Morten Lockegaard of the centre-right Liberals, said the UK had been a political big brother to Denmark in the EU. He said, we are losing a political big brother in the European cooperation. Throughout the years, we've been able to place ourselves in the Brits' slipstream and let them do the hard work in key areas like free trade and the single market. We're losing that bulldozer now, and politically, that will be a big problem for us. Sweden had a similar relationship with the UK, as political scientist Michael Sundström told Express earlier this year. He said that the Swedes will miss the UK and that Brexit had left the country in an unresolvable position in trying to find a new ally. Mr. Sundström said, clearly Sweden is missing the UK more than most, because the UK and Sweden were very well aligned on a number of issues. Now Sweden no longer has that really powerful ally, so Sweden is missing out more than most on British support. They shared similar views on exports, trade and foreign policy for example. The UK and Sweden regularly teamed up on other issues. Despite this, Mr. Sundström doesn't think a Swexit would be possible for Sweden, as the country's economy is smaller than the UK's.